Hey y'all, it's Val here. I um, hope everyone's having a great week. I wanted to jump into my Hobonichi for week two. And um, this week I just I just reached for some of the stickers that I, you know, kind of picked up. Sterling Ink. Y'all know I'm loving um, my common planner from her. But she um, she also has really beautiful stickers and a lot of folks are subscribed to her kits. I'm not, but still just wanted to get in here and use some of hers. And the whole vibe for me for week two is really just about, you know, calming down, having some peace, taking moments to really stick to journaling and giving myself some time early in the morning. So um, that's what I was kind of going for, just kind of really a neutral palette. Um, and so, you know, last week I did some stamping direct on the page and um, I didn't gesso the right sides of these pages. So in me just laying that ink down, it definitely gave a little bit heavier shadowing than I would have liked. And then, of course, in the end, I ended up stamping it on um, on some cardstock anyway. So this week I needed to kind of create a base so that I wouldn't be able to see that. And, it, you know, at one point I was thinking, oh, well, just use some, some paper and cover it up on this side. But, um, in the end that didn't quite work out the way I was wanting it to, to look. So just kind of went in with some of these, um, you know, neutral colors and a little pop of some gold or copper or whatever you want to call it um ebony's moon y'all i've done hauls with her stuff before but you should really check her out she's over on etsy um you know minority shop beautiful drawings that you don't necessarily see many of with women of color so much in stationary that way but she also has these little beautiful, beautiful, lovable characters, Blueberry, and I just love it so much. But um, I just had a, a label from off some packaging from her and some other things that I'll incorporate into this page too. But yeah, just taking those Sterling Ink stickers. These are the, the washi style. Um, she has different ones you can use, but yeah, the washi are the really nice ones. Now, granted, I would have preferred doing the washi straight to the paper. Then you wouldn't have seen, you know, that little halo effect since the background has color on it. Um, but it doesn't matter. I still have more left over. I can use them in that way some other time. Um, and these, I don't, I don't think that they're the same month or from the same um, subscription month, but... One of them was kind of a set that was like focused kind of like decor. And then the other set was more about like sitting at your desk, journaling, coffee. And they do kind of have a, a fall vibe. But you know what? I'm in Louisiana. It takes us being in January and February to feel like it's fall. And they'll throw in <laughs> they. I don't know who they is, but there's like there'll be maybe one or two days, maybe where there's a freeze and it kills off all your your plants and trees and ask me how I know. But um yeah, those uh those colors, that's still what everything's looking like around here. So I'll roll with it. We have our own seasons. Um and so this was just some packaging I don't even know what it came off of y'all I swear to god I get stuff in I like oh I'll use this in something and stick it in an envelope and come back to it later so I'm trying to get a little bit more intentional about the scraps I keep but in the meantime I'm using the ones I've got um that analoging though definitely came from um Ebony Moon's shop um some of the packaging she has some cool stamps that one was just on the packaging but she does have that stamp available and I thought this is exactly, you know, what I'm talking about. Um, so I'm just kind of getting those on there. What kind of packaging do you all save? Do you save packaging? Are you just using that in junk journals or are you actually, uh, and I say junk journals, I mean, as in not per se that you write in them, just the journals you make using upcycled materials or are you actually um, using those in your journal? To decorate just curious because there's so many options now I think I really started with junk journaling because I just didn't have the money to buy all the stuff and Lord knows I still don't but um 
it was really a good thing creatively because it forced you to use what you had and then you get all the stuff and then you don't use it you stop pilot so I don't know just curious as to what audience I'm speaking to right now I've got folks here from different corners of the crafty universe and I love that um, because that's how my mind is going to work anyway but just curious what kind of um, crafty things you all are into so um, yeah definitely got a little of everything going on here um, just had some of that gold ink and I know I've got other gold liquid inks around here but that one was just handy so grabbed it and wanted to add a little um, illumination to the page <laughs> and you can see it at the end um, a close-up of what's happening there um, or like the effect it gives because right now you can't really see it with the lighting and so for me this was like I said about just spending time journaling my love for um, paper and pen and having a, you know an analog section of life um, because it's so easy to get caught up in technology and hey I love technology I still use it for my appointments where you know they're reminding me via text and all that stuff anyway but um, I use it as my backup system right but I love this quote um, a, from a book called Digital Minimalism uh, <laughs> humans are not wired to be constantly wired so definitely get in there and use your handwriting and take the time to slow down process things I love it so much and I hope you guys do too and I will see you for the next spread take care <laughs>